in the science of our nation, as I, I want to thank you and to put it on record as well that this has been a wonderful set of friends that I got and the people in the house, and we thank you for what you are doing. Uh, my idea today there was a meeting uh, an interactive meeting of the PDP stakeholders, namely the former National Publicity Secretaries, the State Publicity Secretaries, the Zonal Publicity Secretaries, and the um, stakeholders, members of the party in the publicity business and communication. So at the end of the deliberation we had a communicate and we believe in line with our practice as a party to constantly engage with the press and Nigeria to let you know exactly what we're doing, particularly at this critical time that we're getting ready for the 23 elections. So I'll go straight into the body of this communicate issue at the end of the meeting. And it's actually the communique of the interactive meeting of the National Working Committee with former National Publicity Secretaries, Zuena and State Publicity Secretaries, and other stakeholders held today, August 4, 2022, at the PDP National Secretariat at Punjab. After a very comprehensive session, the meeting of former and seven spokespersons of the party results as follows. One, the body restates confidence in the national chairman, Senator Dr. Yosha Ayu, and the National Working Committee in running the affairs of the party. Two, the body restates confidence in the capacity, experience, and competence of His Excellency Achiko Abubakar to rescue, redirect, and rebuild this country to end the respect of the international community. Three, we believe that only the PDP, under the leadership of His Excellency Achiko Abubakar, has the capacity to protect and secure the lives and properties of Nigerians, as well as rebuild the economy of the nation in such a manner as to put food on the table. And four, we commit to remain loyal and integral in the mission to the PDP to make all sacrifices necessary to achieve success in rescuing, redirecting, and rebuilding our nation from the history of the APC. And I thank you for listening.